All right, guys, I'm here with the newly announced driver for the SRT Viper Numerical Le Mans Series, Kuno Whitmer. Coomer, uh, Kuno, welcome to Oversteer TV. Thank you very much. Thanks for the invitation. Um, I got to ask you right off the bat, how did, you know, th that must have been a ride that a lot of people coveted, a lot of people, I mean, come out of Viper. How did we, did you manage to land that ride? I mean... I've been working with uh, with SRT now for about uh, I would say about three years, and we worked on different programs together. Mm -hmm. And the first program being uh, the development of the uh, Viper ACRX, which is now in the SRT Viper Cup series. So that was that was the first kind of initiation uh, with the company on on showing you know as far as what kind of person I am, what kind of package I could bring to the table. And uh, as far as skill sets, and uh, they loved it. They, they, you know, we, we immediately clicked. Uh, Ralph Schills and I, and Matt Benyarwitz, Gary Johnson. You know, the the real elite of the um, of the SRT force. So we we clicked right away, and uh, it's been a it's been a it's been a great journey so far. That's that will keep on going for a long time. So um, in 2010, we competed in the World Challenge. Uh, GT class with SCCA and we had a great year. We finished second, uh, just a few points behind first. We almost won the championship. So, um, and then from there, there, there was some talk about uh, ALMS. Uh, nothing was concrete yet, but uh, there was still some talk. And uh, you know, again, it's thanks that I'm sitting with a family like that that kept me uh, kept me going, kept me uh, competitive last year in 2011, which wasn't uh, which wasn't a competitive racing year. But still, they kept me pretty, uh, pretty going on some cool projects. So, and now the big announcement on April fourth was the ALMS car. Yeah, I saw some of those projects. You were going out to various tracks, setting uh, production car lap records with that Viper, and, and embarrassing a lot of big name manufacturers in the, at the same time. Yeah. Uh, um, now with Dodge, you know, you were working with Dodge. Now, now it's the Vipers, the SRT. Now it's not officially Dodge. But it's the same company. Um, they brought in Riley Technologies. To develop this car, um, was that mo big change for you? You work with one group of guys, and all of a sudden they bring in Riley Technologies, or was it pretty much a seamless connection? It was very seamless, actually. Um, Bill Bill Riley has uh, has been known through uh, through a lot of motorsports for a lot of years. You know, it's a family-run business. Uh, Riley Technologies, they build uh, state-of-the-art equipment, and um, when when you talk to a dozen drivers that have driven Riley cars. They all say the same thing. They're awesome, and uh, you know I, I feel super confident with uh, with the, with Riley working with SRT. Um, it, it is it was completely seamless. I mean, it was it was uh, like another family got introduced. I mean, it was it was great, and we already had a lot of interactions as far as uh, you know uh, the auto show and all that. So now we're waiting for our first test, hopefully uh, coming up uh, shortly, and. Again, I'm looking forward to it. They're a great group of guys, and um, yeah, it's going to be great. Um, well, okay, you, you know, obviously Riley knows what they're doing. You're going into the America Le Mans series, that GT class. I mean, you're dealing with factory Corvette. I mean, uh, factory BMW, Ferrari. They say they're not factory, but come on, they're getting help <laughs> from Italy. Uh, a lot of other team, lot, you know, now Lotus is involved. Um, you know, when America Le Mans in that GT class, it's so competitive and they balance it out. Have, do you already know what America Le Mans is going to do to the car to, to balance it out, to make you guys kind of equal with the other cars? I mean, as far as, far as the technical side, I, I don't think that uh, the drivers and myself could really comment on that. We're not really there yet. We, we don't really know what, what to expect as far as technical. Uh, all we know is the obvious, where we had to go from an 8.4 liter down to an 8 liter V10, and we're probably going to have a restrictor. What size? It's not determined yet. We don't know. Um, also, our weight being quite heavy. So uh, definitely, we're banking ourselves on uh, on a lot of handling through the car, a lot of aerodynamics, uh, great braking systems, uh, just what the Viper is known for. Like Plus, yes, the V10 that produces great horsepower and torque. So. I mean, as far as as far as the technical part, it's very tough to to talk about it. But the drivers were super excited and super eager to develop it, to go up head to head against Corvette that have been there for a long time, uh, Porsche, Ferrari, Lotus now, BMW, who are the reigning champions. So it's not only the, it's not it's not only the um, technical side of it, but also drivers. I mean, you look at the 
pool of drivers that are in American Le Mans, it's world class. I mean, these guys, they, especially guys that have been doing it for a long time, there are people that I've looked up for a lot of years as this being, you know, a dream come true for me. I mean, I, w I would always look at certain drivers and, and say, I hope I could be there one day. And, you know, thanks to SRT again. Well, w one more technical question. Uh, has it been decided which kind of tires you're going to run? Because American Le Mans is one of the few major series where you actually have tire wars going on. Absolutely. We're going to be running with Michelin. Michelin. Oh. Yep. No brainer there, right? <laughs> <laughs> the best. <laughs> okay. Yeah. okay. Um, you say you're going to be testing soon. When is uh, the Viper scheduled to actually be out on the track and racing against the other teams? I mean, w the testing season is the first thing. And our main focus is the American Le Mans series. So we, we want to do some races uh, this upcoming summer. We, we want we want to we want to show what we could do. We want to show a statement. We want to we want to show the cars capable of competing and um, and do that. So, but we don't want to enter the series and also finish completely dead last either, right. being four seconds off the pace. So, depending on testing, on how testing uh, evolves and how it goes, that's when we're going to determine when the first race will be. But we're still pretty anxious to start one this this summer. Okay, um, and also, of course, I'm sure everybody's asking you, Le Mans, 24 hours of Le Mans. Yep. Are, are there plans for the Viper to race in Le Mans? Obviously not this year, but in upcoming years. I mean, the 24 Le Mans is, is all our dream. It's all the driver's dream. It's the team's dream. It's the engine builder. It's down to the guy who, the guy who gets the tires from us, you know, from Michelin to the, uh, to the trailer. It's, it's a team effort. It's a dream. But right now, our main focus is the American Le Mans series. That is our main focus uh, this year and next year. Definitely, you know, without without having any, you know hiding any secrets, yeah, for sure, the the 24 is is a dream that we want to go back to, especially for SRT. So, with, with that said, let's get step one over with first, which is the American Le Mans series, and then we'll see. All right. Um, okay. One last question. I saw the, the press release and all the announcements. You're gonna have you have they named other co-drivers. Um, Dominic Farnbarker, uh, Mark Goosen, and Ryan Hunter Ray. That makes four. So, are we looking at a two-car team for the season, or is it going to be just a one-car team for now? No, we're looking at a two-car team. Okay. And uh, currently, uh, as you named those four drivers, those are the uh, the drivers. And uh, yes, we're still looking for two drivers that are uh, that are being hand selected, uh, probably as we speak right now, so we could uh, get testing done with. Oh, okay. All right, I didn't know it was going to be a two-car team. I'm glad to hear that. All right, uh, all right, Kuno, I want to thank you very much. Congratulations. I, I'm an old Mopar fan from way back when, so it's like awesome. as soon as I, I, I cool. heard rumors about the Viper coming back and being raced in America Le Mans, and I was like, oh, please, let it happen. I talking to my friends at ALMS, and they all kept their mouths shut and just smiled, so I'm like, okay, <laughs> great. And, I mean, if there's a – I mean, there's certain jobs in racing that, you know, to me would be a dream job, and one of them would be a factory driver for Viper. Especially yeah. considering their history in America Le Mans. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> yes. So, uh, Kuno, I, once again, thank you from Oversteer TV. Thank you very much. Thank you for everything. Thank you.